she escaped my ape till I, um, she, she ape on my escape till I PlayStation 2. Till I peepo. <laughs> Not a single one of these apes have paid tax in their life. SMH my head. I can't believe that was the voice actor for Ash fucking Ketchum. Why does it- No, I'm not trying to tag someone named Ape Escape. What is happening? <laughs> Twitch. Okay, I'm remembering to go into the retro category today. Boom, boom, boom. Have any New Year's Eve plans? Um, kind of loose, sort of. Um, I'm uh gonna um hang out with my professor friend, and he's gonna have me test his uh his new car, I guess invention thing. I don't know. So, you know, I was hoping to play a show uh, for for New Year's. So I'll probably do that after I test that invention. I'm gonna go to the lab and continue to hang out with my normal professor friend. Very normal. That sounds made up. <laughs> what? No, it's not made up. I can even tell you specific details. Like that it's a DeLorean. Is the car. Alright, so we actually did beat the game. But we're searching for the extra apes. I want to see every ape. And, uh, you know what pisses me off is I went through and I got a bunch of the apes. So, a lot of these levels, I just have to get one fucking ape. So, that's what we're doing. Is last name Brown? Maybe. No, I was gonna help my professor friend with a banana invention. Oh. But yeah, um... Let's do it. It's gonna be... A good New Year's. Um... Probably way in there. You're getting your first car, congrats! Congratulations. Yeah, the friends? It's an electric car? Wow! Money bags over here! Shit! Flexing on everyone. All the little catchphrases that Jimmy and Spike make. You need an anime protagonist. Catchphrase too. Hmm. Honestly, that's true. I need an anime protagonist catchphrase. How am I supposed to convince people? I mean, how will people know that I'm a cartoon character who lives inside the computer and that I'm not real unless I have... What? Oh, man, I got turned around. An 
RC car with double A batteries. The best kind of electric car. What's my catchphrase? That's a good question. So Nissan Leaf? Oh man, when I was younger, over there. When I was younger, I really wanted a Nissan Cube. I still kind of want a Nissan Cube. But Nissan Cubes are like really, really. Mm. Oh, wait, I think this one's inside the wall. Uh, they're like not efficient in any way. They're not like a good car. I just like the way they look. It kind of makes me laugh that people hate them so much. Kiesel? What about the Kiesel? No, I wanted a Nissan Cube. This wall? Wow! Okay, that's one of the two monkeys that's behind a wall. Oh my gosh. Alright, this is Lewis. Rare type. I just can't control myself. Alright, we caught Lewis. He can't control himself. My uncle is a cube? Of course they cube. I would stay away from those Kia Souls. There are some good ones, but lots of bad ones. What's wrong with the Kia Soul? Listen, I drive a 19... something, something, something. And that's all you're gonna know about the car that I drive. I've heard good things about the Soul. Yeah, I've only heard good things. is December, NHTSA counted nearly 5,000 fires and 158 injuries. The I team has reported on two deaths involving Kia Souls that caught fire. How do they catch fire? Yeah, I'm just committing to the bit, you know. It's out here? All right, let's learn about this monkey. It's Arthur, rare type. I'm the knight, Sir Banana. I'm the knight, but not like the night time. Okay, don't hurt me. Okay, fine. Let's duel. Ow, it's killing me. Okay, wait. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here, Get over here knight. What do you do now? Ow. Oh, there's another one. Electrical fire? Interesting. Is it just Kia Soul's general style or catching on fire? Is there a certain model? Kia Soul's just they're super flammable. <laughs> certain Kia Souls are recalled? Oh, I see. So, you know. Yeah, I would never- I would never touch anything that's ever been recalled in my life, ever. If it's ever been recalled, then it's too risky. We also recalled several models including Optima, Fort, Soul, Sportage, Rio, and others from 2010 to 2017 due to short circuit and the brakes. You want a key to Soul now, really? She keep my soul to catch on fire. Four wheels on this baby. Four whole wheels. It's like driving a wild card. <laughs> it's like a box of chocolates. Oh shit. It's a golden ghost reference? Oh, that's cool. I wish I knew things about references. But I am a lot, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but alas, I am but three years of old in my heart. Oh, 
through here. Wowie, zowie. I miss Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I would live in the wonder. Oh. Okay, we got the invisible monkey. Ultra secret. Green potion? What green potion? Ultra secret? The invisible monkey. My key is soul caught on fire, and the only thing the fireman found in the car is my mixtape. Just like a key is so hot because of the fire. Ay. Oh, because your mixtape was so hot. I get it. That took me a really long time. King Tycoon. <laughs> I really I was like, what? Key of souls have have mixtapes? Have have tape readers? I was like, I would just run through the fire and get the cookies like a goo. Wow. An extra slice. Time for watermelon. Who didn't eat their slice? Silly Popochi. You know you can't eat watermelon yet. Jimmy. Gulp. Gilp. I completely forgot about. Who was that person? I don't understand that comic strip. Oh, geez. Okay, we got a monkey fable. Gold and silver bananas, part one. A long, long time ago, there lived a professor who is a diligent inventor, but despite, despite his talent, had always remained poor. One day, he went out to the forest to, uh, to collect some wood as usual. However, this time, he came across a beautiful fountain right in front of the middle of the forest. Not in front of it, just in the middle. He'd grown hungry on his walk, so he decided it would be nice to have his lunch there. And with the gosh machine, too. Um, I'm gonna get as close as 100%ing the gacha machine as I do before I get the monkeys. I think 100%ing the gacha machine seems like a, 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 a lengthy task for no reason. Unless there's like a really good reward for 100%ing. I have a tip to get more coins? Oh, well, okay. I'll take your tip on getting more coins. Yeah, I'm so glad I'm anybody. Welcome back, con balls. Did you know that Kia Souls start on fire? I'm sure if there's a reason 100% it. Hmm. Wait, there's a bridge there? Here I come. Oh, right here. Don't- Ow! You little shit. Okay, this is Arnie. I have to go now? No way. Arnie. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Arnie's gonna fucking kill me. Okay, it sounds like Arnie knocked himself out. He tricked me! <gasps> Peepo saved me! Thank you, Popochi! Well, Popochi really saved- Peepo's even saving me, like, hardcore. Three cookies from Peepo? Okay, motherfucker. Get over here. Get over here. You think you're so cool. How did he get not get hit by that? Okay. It's honestly lousy rats. Perfect timing. They're on the next level. Oh, really? Lousy rats? Like, if I hurt the- What's the strap for getting the lousy rats? You can tell me now. The reason why Kia souls catch on fire is because they feel like it, which is relatable. Cause same. Welcome home, Jimmy. I catch on fire regularly when I feel like it. Have a little rest, okay? You have a little rest. Actually, I just started playing Natalie. So how about you have a little rest? Uh, and what you want to do is, uh. Let them hit you and drop your coins. Lazzy Rat picks them up, then Hula Hoop to catch them. 
get hundreds of coins from the multiplier. Oh. Need coins for this, though. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll get some coins and then get the lousy rat. Yeah, I have a fireproof chair. Also, I'm a VTube model, so you just can't see it. Oh, carp. Oh, freak. I cannot see where that little guy might be. Um. Oh wait, I should probably equip my uh my hoop the hell. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Okay, that was rude. Why do these pigs always bully me after I break their slot machine that they live inside? I like this song. Personally, if I was a casino, this is what I sound like. This work IRL too. Go to the casino, break the slot machines until someone robs you. Then rob them back. Aw, oh, crap! I smacked the lousy rat, it's gone now. There's two per level? Okay. Every time you enter the level, there will always be one that- OH NO! <gasps> Woo! Woo! Big casino payouts! Aw oh, man, what the fuck? Fucking secret fucking monkeys. Where are ya? Oh! In the jukebox! Remember I tried to break it? I was like, this jukebox is sus. Bop! Okay, this is Leo, rare type. I'm going to dance the night away. Sure. It's a reference to something. All done. Yes. Yeah, BB's the personal wiki, and we love it. It's the destiny to guide pop. It's BB's destiny. The prophecy is true. What a wonderful way to spend the last stream of the year. Let's do a bunch of what? Jimmy, are you hurt? Kinda. You look like you need some rest. Are you trying to make me stop playing the freaking game? Because I just loaded up like a minute ago. I don't know what your deal is. We're playing gotcha games. Dang it. Whee! I'm a Spyro Ape Escape, SpongeBob. Battle from Bikini Bottom Wiki. Hee 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 hee. I'll find some monkeys, stone sharpens a knife. Thanks, Spectre. Secret photo. Robo King. Remember when Robo King was kicking my ass and then had a second phase? Pirate Isle. I remember when we went to Pirate Isle. Probably have to go back to Pirate Isle. I would like to get all the, the concept art. And then I can use the concept art as as uh is as reference for my concept art. Monkey Fables. Okay, here we go. We got this one. Fresher finished his lunch and was about to bite into his wonderful banana dessert when his hand slipped and plop went the banana right into the fountain. Fresher, however, could not swim, and so he could do nothing but sob miserably by the side of the fountain. All of a sudden, a beautiful goddess arose from the depths of the water. To be continued. This concept art. 
is perfect. I love her. I would love to cosplay. Taru 3. Who's casting? Oh! But Fred X! Thanks for continuing your sub! Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. More concept art! <gasps> Taro 4! That reminds me of me when I had green hair, except for I don't have green hair anymore, so I'm gonna cry a thousand tears! She looks like I have red headphones, and I don't have a bodysuit like that, but I could. I could. I want to look like that. That's concept art from my wardrobe. Reminds me of you when you had green hair. Now I'm sad because I miss my green. What? <laughs> Beautiful picture. I miss my green hair now, which I normally don't, actually. I really like that hair, but. More concept art. Charu 2. Oh my god, the silver hair. Not as good as the other ones, honestly. She looks kind of like a jester, but. I bet you did. I bet you did recommend the cosplay. And I was like... Bow, 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 bow. Oh, but I had, to, I had to play this with not green hair. So that'd be why. Fred X, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Thin White Senpai. Um, I don't know why the alert didn't play. So we'll just have to imagine an alert. Oh, it broke again. Hmm. It says cued. Why? Why does it say cued? All right. The beautiful goddess asked the professor, Banana, you have lost. Was it gold or was it silver? The honest professor told her it was neither. The fair goddess handed back the professor both a gold and silver banana. The penniless professor was, of course, overjoyed with his luck. However, someone other than professor knew the secret of the fountain, for a little monkey hiding nearby had witnessed the entire scene. Oh no! Another monkey favor? Okay, here we go. Monkey was quite excited to have discovered a fountain that turned one banana into two. Once the professor left, he threw his own banana into the fountain. And sure enough, the beautiful goddess arose from it. The banana you've lost, was it gold or was it silver? Aping the professor, he replied with a shake of his head. And then he gets mad because he doesn't want a gold or a silver banana. He wants a banana, two bananas. <laughs> oh my gosh, a Kapochi backpack would be so cute. All right. Kind goddess smiled, handed him both gold and silver bananas. The monkey was quite thrilled. He began eating the bananas right then and there. But as you know, one cannot eat a gold or silver banana. The unknowing monkey thought that the goddess had tricked him out of his banana. His monkey helmet shone bright red, showing his anger. He took both bananas and threw them straight at her. <laughs> Amazing. He just wanted to eat bananas. I just suffered an amazing fact today. When you're having trouble sleeping, instead of counting sheep, it is apparently more effective to imagine a beautiful view. Huh. I count backwards from a thousand. Casino City. Yeah, your cosplay was great, BB. I appreciate you. That was awesome when you did that. I found a custom Poshi plushie. I'm posting this for it. Oh, is it super expensive? Okay, here we go. Part six of the gold and silver banana. This made the goddess very, very sad. As you could see in her eyes, she gave the monkey two real bananas instead. This, of course, made the monkey really happy as can be. The goddess watched the monkey dash away. It was glad that he seemed pleased. But she found it quite strange. If only there, uh, he were to sell the gold and silver bananas, he could eat his bananas, uh, as many bananas as he liked. Oh, well, teach his own. She reasoned and disappeared from view. A little more confused than before. The end. Ha! Monkey, monkey want banana. Another monkey fable, wow. Okay, we got monkey tarot part one. Long, long time ago, there lived a great monkey named Monkey Tarot. The old lady found him after he'd been born inside a giant banana. Oh, this is, we saw, we saw a second version of the story. So hopefully, hopefully this makes sense. One day, the old lady monkey and her husband gave him three bananas and pushed him out the door, telling him not to come back until he defeated the ogre that was ravaging the capital. Don't forget the ogre's treasure, he was told. Oh, 
Not more expensive than a typical pricey brush. Oh, okay. Careful in pursuing Jimbo. The room he is is filled with trap doors. Huh. Jimbo. Take if you want to look. Let's see. Oh. Wow, they did a great job with that. Shorts are shorter than pants. That's why they're called shorts. <gasps> no. You lie. Although I've been charged with the task of defeating this ogre character, he had the slightest idea where to find him. When he was searching for the ogre, it grew dark, and Monkey Taro lost his way. He decided to eat three bananas the old lady monkey had given him. The three bananas the old lady monkey had given him. He was still hungry. He lay down for the at the base of the tree and slept there for the night. And I don't have enough money. Okay, I don't have enough gold coins, Natalie. Tell me something I don't know. Oh, the record release? I think that that, um, that the pre-order is uh, sold out for that. Yeah, I bought that that Kirby, and then people were like, I could get a knockoff of this on AliExpress for $3, and it's like, okay. Good for you. It was still <laughs> a $90 Japanese import that I impulse bought. so much money from this. Jesus. Get out of here. I don't want you stressing me out. Oh, or you stressing me out. Okay. Nice. Alright. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and then you should come and collect the money. For some reason, you didn't. That was weird. I don't know why that mouse didn't collect the money you stole from me. But, you know, whatever. Okay. The other one is over there. I thought it was over here. Like the money. Uh oh. Huh. That was a little less fruitful because it didn't rob me as much. Chance to watch the new stop motion. Oh yeah, there's a new stop motion Pokemon, isn't there? For it, isn't it? Aww. Is it out in theaters right now? find the first mouse. It's like right here. Okay, that time it was very quick about it. Yeah! That was very successful. We have so much money now! Yeah! Okay. And here.
You're an ape escape millionaire. I escaped the apes. All right, let's do more gotcha bugs. Wee! I want to get all the concept art. So. I wonder. Any photo. I wonder how close we are to completing this. Buy all the bananas. Mm -hmm. I wonder if order, in order to 100% it, you have to like beat all the mini games too. We're gonna try. I probably. Like, uh. Maybe in the entertainment center. Next day, he tried to ask. Oh my gosh. They say he tried to ask a passing boy about the ogre's whereabouts, but the boy did not understand a single word that he said. Seeing that the monkey was flustered, the boy, uh, for some reason, handed him a dango, a traditional Japanese delicacy. The half-starved monkey, Tara, was overjoyed and chomped on the, uh, away on the delicious dango without the slightest show of manners. I'm dango. Oh my gosh. Absolutely, BB. It's very, very sick right now. Man. Scammed again. Scammed again. Okay, here we go. Monkey Taro. After finishing the dango, Monkey Taro decided to follow the young boy for the time being as he hadn't a clue about the ogre's whereabouts. Soon the boy met a dog and then a pheasant who both were who were both who were both looking quite distraught. The boy gave them each a delicious dango and helped them find their way. Monkey Taro was very impressed by the boy's show of kindness. Monkey Taro. I'm just trying to think, uh I should go to the hospital, at least if I keep having a hard time breathing later tonight. Oh no! That's horrible. Bad fortune today, it says. All right, Monkey Taro part five. After a few days, the group led by the boy and the Monkey Taro rode the boat across the sea to an island inhabited by countless ogres. This reminded Monkey Taro that his, it was his job to defeat the ogre. And so, with the help of the boy, the dog, the pheasant, began a fierce fight with the ogre. After a fierce fight, the band were victorious and took them on a huge amount of treasures at their own reward. We continue. Yeah, if you can't breathe, hospital visit, definitely a good call. Definitely with with uh, with that. I'm going to streaming cosplay tips inspiration video, especially for women slash LGBT, ADHD tips to inspire me so much. Oh, absolutely. That's a really good idea, Vivi. Thank you. You're so sweet. I think I'm better and worse, so I don't want to go in and pay a crap ton of money to be told there's a script for some cough syrup. I'll keep it in mind. I don't like it out of control. Have you been taking cough syrup? I know some people avoid taking medication, but it's good. It's good to do for the fevers. I'm sure you know that though. All right. It seems that migrating birds use their use the stars as indicators to reach their destination. Really? I just have ape escape cosplayers. <laughs> just cosplayers who only cosplay ape escape. Mm, yeah, I hope you don't have like pneumonia. After the group returned to the capital, they began bickering over dividing up the spoils. Monkey Taro put up a fight for, of his life, but in the end, the boy ran off with every last nugget of gold. Fearful of old monkey's couple's wrath, he decided against returning home, instead selling himself to the circus where he spent the remainder of his days entertaining children with a unique low-flying chimp routine. The end. That's horrible. What the heck? Why are those stories like this? And so the boy who gave him the stuff actually stole his money, and then he didn't want to go home because he was afraid. So he just joined the circus. I'm on ibuprofen, probably more than I should be. Galsafen, suffered and an antihistamine. Whatever water I can handle. 
I don't know what guys to fit him in so if head is so I'm gonna assume that that's a, that's a good thing that helps reduce fever so it's not fables but monkey I think they're like lessons I don't know what the lesson was there not to trust people oh no Thumbalachi part one once upon a time there's a tiny Popochi he was just three centimeters tall. He was called Thumbalachi, and he traveled by boat from land to land armed with a needle. He was a brave little Popochi, who punished evil wherever it was found. More than actually punished, actually he crushed it without ever saying a word. Go Popochi! Ibuprofen is the fever? I don't know. Not a doctor, but I, I, I haven't heard that ibuprofen works for fever. I thought it was acetaminophen. If I'm wrong, then then I might be wrong. But that might be worth checking. Yeah, you're good. We care about you. We're asking. To be fair, we've been asking. Okay, if you mix a Japanese horseradish with sugar and let it stand for a while, it becomes briefly extremely spicy. Oh. I'm hoping home's really fever too. Oh, okay, good. Cause yeah, and all the medications here they put acetaminophen in for 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 fever. Oh, that's really good. Okay, good. Good. I was kind of like, oh no, I thought maybe we were mixed up. <laughs> yeah. Hiroki. Oh, that's the that's the that's the blue-haired guy from the other game. Okay. I'm glad that it, it's cool that it's giving you concept art for both games. I would want the concept art for both games. Another stage photo. The recast beer good for 2024 season. <laughs> no, he's fine. Yeah, I don't really want to fuck with the scene of it. Finish shit scares me. Some more than one drug uh, drug user with jaundice from taking too much mixed with hydrocodone. Oh shit, that's crazy. That's fair though. If it, if ibuprofen works, then you're chilling. Adult African alligators gain 10% of their weight from eating small rocks. This extra weight apparently allows them to swim better. What? Guys, new life hack: eat rocks and then you will swim better. Tip from alligators. Very hard in your liver is probably fine in normal doses. I just don't like. Oh, we got a tissue paper. That's cool. Hi, John. Just don't recommend. Yeah, experiencing something like that will definitely change the decisions that you make around stuff like that. I discovered an amazing fact today: finding force of an alligator is over one ton. Why are there so many alligator facts? This is comparable to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Alligators, real Tyrannosaurus Rex. Confirm? Carry rocks in my pockets for the same reason. <laughs> Why do we get tissue paper? It's an RC, it is an RC car. <gasps> Charu won! I like the I like the when Charu was wearing black. Not that you know, not that I'd be biased anyway, because I like black. Find a door that it won't open. Use one of the middle blocks that contain a bomb. Okay, well, I know that. That's a row for literally, just not black enough. Yeah. Alright, Thimbalochi. It's even rumored that on occasion, people who were not at all evil got in the line of fire, but despite that, he was generally well liked across the land. One day, Thimbalochi was sailing around and around in his boat as usual, and then he spotted a beautiful princess who was being pursued by a giant monkey. Within seconds, Thimbalochi, without uttering a word, moored his boat. That's pretty much her model. More black. I like the, the fourth. Why is monkey and fools do not change? Pure of hearts stay pure. Yeah. 
Thank you for concern. It means a lot. You have me worried about the ibuprofen too. I did some uh, dumb shit like spilling water, putting space heater down where there's not a table. So I was like, great. Did I get mixed up? With some mental fog. No worries. I'm glad that it was fine. Fever reduction is important. Thumbelochi. May have been small, but his reputation was well deserved. As soon as the princess saw Thumbelochi coming off the boat, she pleaded for him to help. The giant monkey, disgusted by the popularity of such a puny fellow, attempted to crush the tiny thing with a snap of his foot, but the daring Thumbelochi would have none of it. He deftly dodged the attack and then proceeded to climb up the monkey's leg. So glad I took Friday's over. Hell yeah! Perfect day to take off work. What did I miss? Uh, we caught some apes, and then I also been making money so that I can so that I can get all the concept art in the game. <laughs> Discovered an amazing fact today. Addition to salt seems that slugs are very vulnerable to sugar. We bred that one. Natalie. Ah. Uh. I think we're getting repeats of stuff now. Gambling with rats. Yeah. Yeah, the research memo, no inspector, I remember fortune for speed a lot. Hmm. Hopefully nothing else. Cause I feel like some of the enemy enemy photos have been repeating, but I don't know. Some are good at talking, but bad at listening. There are none so deaf as those who are not here. Still this game keep finding new ones, which is exciting. Ooh. Some will you to dived inside the monkey's pants and poked and poked and poked and poked at the front and poked at the back. Giant monkey was in agony and threw off his pants and ran away as fast as he could. Prince is now safe from harm, searched inside the giant monkey's pants and found Thumbelochi along with a great treasure, a wish granting monkey helmet. What? Why do you have a wish granting monkey helmet in his pants? <laughs> Where was he wearing the monkey helmet? What? Shrimp things in the catalog. Oh. So I'm just confused. To rack inside my pants and get a free wish. Yeah, not falling for that again. <laughs> Classic prank. You don't have a magic wish granting monkey helmet in your pants too? Alright, here we go. Thumbelochi part five. When the princess shook the monkey helmet a little, little Thumbelochi grew and grew and grew. When the princess saw the brave Thumbelochi in full size, she now knew what made him so strong. Thumbelochi was in fact a peepo mech. And Thumbelochi picked up the princess up on, on the top of his head and they set off to defeat the unknown, the evil and unknown lands, the end. So he was actually a robot and that's why he was so strong. And then he now is a big robot. Wow. Girls, do you guys keep your helmets? Why don't we? <laughs> Why not? Oh, another monkey fable? The Grateful Monkey Part 1. A long, long time ago, a professor lived all by himself. He conducted research in his home on the mountainside, but he was quite unsuccessful and never managed to create anything that earned him a single penny in income. One day, during his usual walk, the professor noticed a monkey caught in a monkey trap and crying quite miserably. And I don't have money, so we don't find out what next. Oh, we're only missing one en enemy photo. And we're missing f one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stage photos. And we're missing three secret photos. And then this is Monkeypedia. We're missing two songs. Can't tell with this, but I'm also gonna set up the, the tissue. Monkey Fables, we are missing three Monkey Fables. Okay. we are got all the comic strips and we're only missing one concept art. Okay, so we can complete this no problem. I think if we do one more round of uh, 
casino, we could beat, we could, we could get all the, gotcha. Two enemies missing? So close. I'm trying to guess the gender has the stupid but what's in your pants question. A <laughs> wish granting monkey helmet actually. Yeah. Not that it'll matter. Yeah, once we're rich poppy again, <laughs> then it won't matter. Let's do it! Oh yeah, wait, I forgot to tell you guys about something. So I want him to make uh, some new sound effects for the stream. But I wanted them to sound like really, you know, like PlayStation-y. So I did some Googling and I found this game called MTV Music Generator for the PS1. And uh, the music that you make in it, you keep the rights to, which is wild. Bruh. Bruh. Thanks, second base. I was brought it up in here. That's a good game. You played it? It was dope. I know, right? So it it does it did yeah! in my research seem like a, a fun way to uh, make some stream sounds. Just you know, if you so choose to do the same thing, um, feel free, but just gatekeep it to other people. <laughs> Stays in this community. Uh oh. No, 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 motherfucker. No! No! Shit, I got robbed! Oh, there's a there's a game called MTV Music Generator that you can that you can use the music that you make on for stuff for the PlayStation One, and it seems like a fun way that you can make little little ditties for your stream. It was like one of the four games I owned. Really? I feel like with a little grit, you could probably make a little cool little tune. Yeah, because if everyone does it, then it won't be special anymore, and I need to have an individuality complex. <laughs> really, your brother? Yeah, my brother would. He would probably make some bangers in that. Yeah, we can have a little gatekeeping as a treat. Just as a treat. Get over here. Oh, see, that's the real hack. Is breaking that box afterwards. Oh. Look at us. Some fat stacks. Here we go. Wait, I have an idea. Where'd the Where'd the mouse go? You didn't even rob me. Dang mouse. Dang lousy rat. Came here to be robbed. This should be enough though. That's such a genius strategy. Did you and your uh, brother come up with that yourself or is that like a guidebook strat? I can play the triangle like no one else. Oh, hell yeah. The jellyfish is pretty cool. All right, Trevor, forming a band and creating some new stream shingles. Hell yeah. Robocom. I do like Robocon. Lost Valley. We're getting there. A monkey fable. Here we go. Grateful monkey. 
Professor felt sorry for the poor monkey, and so he freed him from the vicious trap. The monkey was overjoyed and bowed to him countless times before returning home to the mountains. That night, just as the professor was getting ready for bed, there was a knock on his door. When he answered it, he was surprised to find a little boy wearing a monkey helmet. Little boy? A little boy wearing a helmet for monkeys? What is going on? Gotcha box, gotcha gamble time. Maybe we can make a gamble emote. <laughs> for moments like this in Bibia games. But you guys have to promise not to use it in real gambling streams. <laughs> little boy wearing the monkey helmet was... Had apparently lost his way and was searching for shelter for the night. The kind-hearted professor gladly offered to let the boy stay at his home. The next day, the boy told the professor if he could stay a little longer, it would give him a chance to show his gratitude. But the professor must never look inside his room. That's a little suspicious. If I was the professor, I'd be a little suspicious. I thought this said strange photo for a second. It's the kind of photo that we like. Okay, here's a fact. White butter is produced when cows eat dry grass. When cows eat green grass. The carotene color is added, which produces a yellow butter. Oh. Well. Now we know why butter looks like that. Me five hours before bedtime? Hell yeah. Also, don't mean to brag, but I did one free drumming lesson, so I'm kind of a musical expert. Oh my gosh, that's like me when I did ballet for like three days. Yeah, a movie. I actually don't know how many movies we have left. We must have. We, I. Must have. Filled out some things. Okay, here's a new fact. Turkeys have a habit of looking upwards at their mouths open when it rains. Seems they they can die from drowning. What? What kind of fact is that, Natalie? Oh, we're getting more movies. That's good. Almost no time at all, the large sums of money began pouring out of the professor's account. Before he knew it, his life had changed seriously from rags to riches. However, the professor could not help but wonder about the boy. Both day and night, a strange glow radiated from under the door of his room, and eventually the professor could not stop himself from taking a look inside. <gasps> He's hacking the banks. I'm giving the professor all the money in the banks. <laughs> He's mining crypto. <laughs> Yeah, probably a little more realistic than the hacking banks. Bamboo flowers only blossom once, anywhere from several decades to several centuries, which is a rare event. Also, that's why the that's why ba pandas have a hard time, is because they eat bamboo, and the bamboo only flowers rarely, so the pandas only exist rarely. You know what I mean? There are four different RC chasses to collect. Sushi chasses is harder for the monkeys to detect. Oh, that's cool. We'll have to test the sushi chasses of monkeys. Because I actually haven't been driving my RC chasses around on monkeys. Japanese buckwheat noodles with seaweed are called zero soba. Without seaweed is called moro soba. Where does yaki soba fit into that? Yeah, me and my brother came with lousy rat strat. I think it is designed to play that way. Interesting. More of a discovery. That's awesome though. It's cool that you discovered that. Inside the room was that this is the next part. Inside the the room was a little helmeted monkey staring into a glowing computer screen. Monkey was engaged in day trading, which was all the rage at the time. I thought it was gonna be magic. I can't believe he's actually. I can't believe he's. <laughs> professor quietly closed the door. The next morning, the boy didn't come out of his room. The professor went back into the room. All he found was one page letter. Probably like. <laughs> I told you not to come in the room, bitch. I saw that. All your money's been taken out of your bank account. We gotta find the next part of the fables. 
We gotta find out what happens. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Alright. Here's the next part. It read, Since you have seen my true form, I can no longer stay in your home. As my final thanks, please sell these stocks to raise some money! However, these stocks have already plummeted after an embezzlement controversy and some gambling fiascos. Frustrated and lonely, the professor became addicted to day trading. I was soon poorer than he'd ever been. The end. <laughs> what? Wasn't it a little boy? How the fuck? Listen, don't gamble. Well, we've been gambling, yeah, literally. The wise monkey part one. A long, long time ago, there was a monkey named Okyo. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say Ukyu, who resided in a temple. One day, Ukyu was uh, up to monkey business in the forest, and the head monk caught him. The head monk managed to use this trick, this to trick him into joining the temple. But in fact, Okyu had heard incre uh, had incredible intellect by fucking reading, so much so that even the shogun himself had taken notice of the sharp mind. Ape is escaping prison. To be frank, he really didn't give a monkey's butt about what people thought of his intellect and could more appropriately be described as a loafer than a wise monkey. In any case, one day he was called to the castle by Shogun, as he always was. In, the, in his heart of hearts, he'd much rather have sat at home twiddling his thumbs, but since this was the Shogun, he felt compelled to take notice. These fables are so funny. Oh my gosh. I wonder if we're gonna start getting a lot of pellets as we start getting stuff. Oh my gosh! Three pellets in a row? Please. Four pellets in a row? Five pellets in a row. Six pellets in a row. What is this streak? Oops, all pellets. There we go. Here's the next part. When he reached the bridge that led to the castle, there was a sign that read, This bridge shall not be crossed. It would seem that the Shogun had called upon him for a battle of intellect. But as you may have guessed, Oku didn't care about such matters. And simply without skipping a beat, he simply swam across the moat. It didn't occur to him that what the Shogun had in mind. Oh no, more pellets. I don't even think we got the last concept art yet. Okay, two streak pellets. Okay. Here's the next part. Thank you for the bits. Some monkey fun facts for chat EM. Chimpanzee Kalu lives in a luxurious mansion in the suburbs of Cape Town, South Africa. He is the richest ape in the world. Her owner Patricia O'Neill was so fond of animals that she bequeathed all her money to several dozen dogs and cats. But Kalu got the most estimated $90. $90 million. <laughs> I was spending so much time thinking about that voice that I didn't actually absorb your fact. Burger King foot lettuce. More pellets. Here's it, the monkey fable, the wise monkey. Of course, the Shogun was hoping that he could challenge the famous Oku's intellect, but Oku hadn't the slightest interest in such games. He pulled a lighter out of his pants and set fire to a folding screen. The fire grew to inconsiderable size, causing quite a panic. On the way out of the door, Oku stopped off at the castle vault, snatching all what he could take and thus ensuring comfortable retirement. The end. What? So wait, OQ just left? He was like, uh-huh. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna take the money and leave. Yeah, the monkeys are just doing crimes. But they are escaped apes. Okay, Monkey Fable. The Nightmare Scenario Part 1. After taking the now powerless Spectre back to the zoo, Spike had returned to her normal life. Or so he thought. We went to the park. The children were reading. Moncarella. But that's not all. The Statue of Liberty was a giant monkey holding a banana. Wait, is this like lore on what Spike's doing right now?
Does this mean that some monkeys were left in the past? Oh no, screamed Spike. He rushed off to the laboratory. Professor! The professor turned his head, but he was a monkey. And Spike heard an all too familiar voice. He turned toward the monitor, and it was Spectre. Young Spike, you did well to stop my grandfather, Spectre said from completing his mission. Oh shit! Planet of the Apes? Wait, this is a Planet of the Apes? All the way up to Snowball Mountain is a secret jump. Where ZBD is hidden. ZBD, huh? ZBD. I forgot that the last tape escape was, uh... Was time-based. That makes the drum and bass music make way more sense. It's like telling us where the fucking monkeys are now. <laughs> Okay, I'm not absorbing the information. All right, here's the part three of that story. Spectre went on. I've taken as my mission to pick up where Grandpa Spectre left off. I'm going to make the world a monkey paradise. It's called New Primate Doctrine. To start with, I sent a monkey back in time to take the professor's place. He's turned into one of us. As you can see, I could have changed you too, but you're not worth it. Oh shit. Damn, I can't believe we're gonna need more money. There's so many fucking pellets. Oh, here's the next part. As it turned out, the monkeys that Spike had missed saved a monkey helmet and put it on Spectre's grandson, who was the monkey on the monitor. Damn you, Spectre! I'll go back in time and catch the monkeys. Yeah, Spike. Spectre sneered. Oh, will you? With that army? You don't have a time machine, a single gotcha gadget, or even a professor to help you. That's true. That's true. How does Spike get out of this sticky scenario? No, I didn't catch them all. I'm gonna catch them all after I... Catch them all. Catchy. It's like my endings when I hit the word count on my English homework. Shit happened at the end. <laughs> It'd be fun, a game that makes you go back in time and fix the present. Is there a game like that? That's so true. Comballs. Did you guys know that you guys can sub for free using Amazon Prime? If you happen to have that, you just connect that to your Twitch and then you get a free sub. But did you also know that until January 2nd, that subs are 25% off, gifted, recurring, and new? Oh shit, I fucking killed the mouse. All right, whatever. It's fine. We'll, we'll, come, we'll just come back. It's fine. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. It's true. So, you know. Plus, if we hit 420 subs, then we'll have another Nick Cage movie marathon night. And that's what you really want. Oh shit, I can't see. Where's the mouse? I can see his mouse dust. Mouse dust getting mouse dusted away! I think he fucking robbed me. <laughs> Damn, I didn't even make I I got robbed just straight up. Can't win them all. We can certainly try. Should do a diff actor movie night? You don't want to do a Nick Cage movie night part two? Because there's like still so many Nick Cage movies that we gotta watch. You got another actor people will get just as stoked for as Nick Cage. I'll gladly hear it. John Travolta. <laughs> Watch Face Off again, but this time for John Travolta. Only stayed for Wicked Man. No, we watched four. Oh shit, I did it again! Yeah, we watched four, but there's still, like, at least four mother other really iconic Nick Cage movies that people were like, oh, we gotta watch this one. And I couldn't do more than the four. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Let's get a little more money. Because we're probably going to get a lot of pellets. Just a lot of pellets. Oops, all pellets. Oh, wait, we got three, three, three. That's how many subs we had. Or had. Before. I like three, three, three. It's good. It's good times in the three, three, three. Willy's Wonderland movie. It's so funny. Is that a Nick Cage movie? What is that? Put two people in the Don't do it. Don't do it. Sub extra. Give PP points. FNAF spoof movie was in, it was goofy. Oh. 331, then we get 666. That would be crazy. That'd be cool. Eventually. Okay. That's the way. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bellino, thank you so much for the gifted subs. I really appreciate that. Shit. No, 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 no. Ah, no. <gasps> no way. Clutched it, yes! Finally. That was so scary. Can we get some hype in the chat for Felino? Thank you so much, Felino. I don't know why the alerts randomly stop working sometimes with this the way that this Twitch setup works, I don't know. Okay, we got pellets. Fun stuff. You need stuff. Natalie's research memo. Okay, here's the fact. Tree dams that beavers build can apparently reach several hundred meters long. That's quite the pad. Hope you have had a good new year. You had a have a good new year. I will have a great new year. I hope you do too. Thank you. Pellets. I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right, nightmare scenario. I'm going to keep sending monkeys back in time, so don't be surprised as your surroundings gradually become slightly primitive. Don't worry, I'll never change you. You'll have the pleasure of the torment of being the last human alive. Spectre's plan seemed infallible. Ta-ta, Spike. I'll be going back to the future now. Have fun struggling hopelessly here in a miserable present. Sorry, kid. What the heck? What a wicked, what a wicked monkey! Pellets! Sorry, kid. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Ha! <laughs> More pellets. More pellets. Okay, that's a two pellet streak. Let's see. Three pellet streak! There we go. Okay. And then Spectre Jr. was gone in a white flash. Damn it. I can't let this happen. There must be something I can do here in the present. Spike thought long and hard. That's it. I don't have a time machine, but the present leads to the future. Oh, yeah. Just freeze yourself.
fighting force of an alligator. What? It told me about the Tyrannosaurus Rex alligator thing again. To my dad, after coming back to my life years later, sort kid. Hipposaur, the name given to the monkeys wearing the helmets in the original Japanese version of Escape 2. Hippo is to mimic the sound of the siren. Oh, wait, I think we read that. It's the same dang thing we read before. Yep. Give me the last concept art. One explosive pellets. Two explosive pellets. Monkey Fable. Spike thought to himself, the monkeys that put Monkey Helmet on Spectre Jr. must be somewhere here in the present. If I catch the monkeys in this world, then I prevent this. I can start with the Statue of Liberty. The monkeys responsible for that must be around here somewhere. I'll catch every last one of them. And wait, is this not the is this not the plot of the game? And now I'm confused. Uh huh, uh huh, yep, okay. That's a hint about something we've already done. Alright, I'm not even reading Spectre's note. Let's just get this stuff. More pellets. Pellets. And another fortune. And. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you for the bit. Happy, what are your predictions for 2024? 2024 predictions? I feel like I'm not, hmm, not in loop enough to be able to predict things. Maybe, maybe, Chris Pratt's probably stars in something we all love again. Like, what else is fun and nostalgic and awesome? Uh, exclamation point TTS will give you the names of all the, the, the voices and stuff. So Spike set out to catch the monkeys. One day, he was just about to catch an old graying monkey when that despicable Spectre Jr. turned up again. Well, Spike, you've certainly come much further than I expected you would. Now, I don't know how you got a hold of that gotcha net. But it won't matter anymore now that I'm turning you into a monkey. Oh. How did the Spectre realize what he's doing? It's power movie voiced by Chris Pratt! Hmm, like a... Uh, I'm trying to think, I can't think. We have Lego, we have Garfield. We have Mario. Possibly, what else could there be? I mean... Man, what pellets? Like Bionicles or something? Oh my gosh, wait, second base said the same thing as me! No way, same wavelength. With injuries being in critical condition, it's generally worse than having a serious injury. Oh wow. Nice fact, Natalie. Chris Pratt starring in a stupid hot dog sex movie sequel? What does that mean? There's so many pellets. I don't have all the pellets one could ever ask for. Oh, here we go. Darn you, stop this nonsense, said an aging voice. Who goes there? Who dares oppose me? Barked the confused Spectre Jr. And Spike noticed the, who the graying monkey was. It's old Spectre. Spectre Sr. explains, I'm the one who made Spike's new gotcha net. Wait, why is the old... Wait, what is happening? <laughs> Our puppy biopic will, uh, from new perspective, chili voiced by Chris Pratt. Maybe we'll go on to make $2 billion. Woo! Sausage Party. Oh! The beloved movie Sausage Party. Spectre, they replace, uh... 
the guy that voices Woody. I can't remember his name right now, but you know that guy with Chris Pratt in the new Toy Story movie. Inspector Senior goes, monkeys should live in harmony with humans. I realized this when I was sent back to the amusement park. There were so many people there who were worried about my safety. Must be people who feel the same way about you, eh, little grandson? And hearing that, the white monkey returned to the future. Because the future is where he belonged. Because that is where people cared about him. The end. What? That's all that it is. <laughs> Tom Hanks, thank you. Uh, oh, not the dresser. The dresser that hurts the corner of your foot. Watch out for that fortune. Fuck, man. Am I... Like, do we not actually get that... Did we get that... That, uh, that concept art, and I just don't realize it. We have three secret photos still. Okay, we're good for enemy photos. We're good for secret photo album. Right? Yeah. Art collection. No, we're still missing. What the heck is happening? Uh, comic collection. Where's monkey fables? Okay, we have one left. And we have one movie left. Okay. Well, we'll just keep on going, I guess. Try to do this as fast as I can. As I can. Wait, I have an idea. Aw, oh, man. Here. Oh no, I, I have to walk into it anyway. We're just getting so many fortunes. So many things that I don't want. I really want the concept art. Like that's that's the last thing that I, I really want to complete the concept art at least, but now I'm so close to completing it anyway. I'll be auditioning to play Ron Poppy in the biopic. Hope I do the real justice. Heck yeah. I'm gonna listen to it on stream though. It's probably just Honestly, if I was a kid playing this game, there's no way I would have read the fables. Now I'm interested. But I'm also medicated from ADHD, which might make me more interested in reading the fables. How's the Abyss game going? We're so close to getting all the little things. Oh, here we go. Monkey Fable. Monkey Village! Deep in the forest, far from human civilization, there was a monkey village. One year, the monkeys were busy collecting bananas in preparation for the coming winter. The leader of the monkeys, Spectre, played all day without lifting a finger, only barking orders to all the lesser monkeys. Uh. Rest of that, thank you. I'm getting there. I'm just gonna betray Rotten Poppy. I'm going for the method route. This is January getting pink and hopefully. Get a promo to Victoria's Secret. Actually, actually, you don't start at pink. They, they move you to pink if you're good at selling pink, okay? Monkey Village, part two. Actually, I guess you could start at pink. Maybe, I guess if that's what they're hiring for. One day, as winter was drawing near, the monkeys harvested the necessary supply of bananas, bananas to tie them up for the winter months. Just then, Spectre arrived and told them that he would sing for them as long as, they, as, their, as, as their reward. His singing was as bad as his character, but the monkeys, exhausted from work and glad to be finished, were easily drawn in and were glad to join the party. <laughs> Method acting for Chili is dying my hair orange because I already sleep all day. So good at this. Yeah. Well, then you have to bite your tail off. Your method acting for him, so get ready for that. Uh, then, um, you'll have to wake up at like four in the morning. Start scratching your furniture. And then demand food. Oh. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go get more money because it'll be easier if I have more money right now. Hey, before I'm already, am I hired? I also get very hangry. Hey, that's a good part of the rule. Just bite off your tail. You gotta scratch it first on something, and then bite it off in anger. And then you gotta go into every room with with your with your your bleeding finger or tail, and you gotta like spread it on every surface possible. You gotta get up on the counters, go into the bathroom, get on the walls. Just make sure that it's like you painted the house. Oh yeah, you gotta play your PP also. Yeah, when he bit his tail, he did become Bob Ross. Maybe Picasso even. And just like, decided to use that as his fucking paintbrush, I guess. <laughs> Gave the house a makeover. Get back here! Okay. We're making moves today. Uh-oh. Where'd you go? No! <gasps> yeah! I got lucky again last minute! Woo! Because if I woke up my house covered in blood, it would not be okay. Yeah. I managed. I'm proud of that because I used to have hemophobia pretty bad, so that was some progress for me. Alright, the monkey village, part three. The party lasted for three days and three nights. The party reaches end. The monkeys noticed the first flakes of snowfall. It was winter. And all they had left was one single banana. Just one. Snow had just begun falling. How would the monkey village get through this winter? Did they survive? The end. What? Okay, well that was the last monkey fable. We did it, guys. We did it, chat. There's a rule of calm ball. How many gamers? Prime subs, cats for Beautiful. That's beautiful. Not the exact same story, but I remember when once Rachel and I were first together, I came home and worked to an empty house. Some random wall in the middle of the floor belonging to a dude that I did not know. I just assumed it was a friend and called her. It was her brother's. My friend was at her house. I see that throwing people though. Oh wow! <laughs> like, who was here? Like humans, it seems dolphins breathe their lungs, which is why they can drown. Wow. I feel like that's a pretty common knowledge these days, but I don't know. Okay, come on. We can get the last things. We can do it. We can do it. Come on. Manifesting, manifesting. Come on. Give us a secret photo or something. Some more coins. Not bad. I hopefully don't take care. Have fun watching Godzilla. I hope you have a great time. These men holes have round covers in order to prevent the lids from falling through that hole. If they were square, would they fall through the hole? How does it be round? Stop it from falling. Triangle shape? They fall? Ah! Come on! <laughs> this is- I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. Let's see. I'm starting to feel less hopeful about finding the stuff that we want. The more it just keeps giving us fortunes and stuff, and now, now we don't even have monkey fables left. We have one movie, one photo art, one 
enemy photo or secret photo? I'm not sure. But we got and read every fable, so that's pretty cool. Although that's probably the one I don't really care about as much. I mean, at least we completed all the fables. But left in the middle of a fable. I still don't understand the fable where the lady turned down food and then and then and then a corpse flew into the river didn't say it was her husband's corpse or if she was trying i don't understand what that one meant don't eat like what oh my gosh hey pin you find it rather open okay I wonder actually, hold on, I have, a, I have a thought. Break it? That's one of these. Nope, it won't let me do that. I have to I have to look at it. I was hoping that I could just like spin it again, kinda like I do if there's big explosive pellets. Watermelons have a higher water content than milk. Okay. Fun fact guys, watermelons have a higher water content than milk. It's almost like milk is milk and watermelons have water and that's part of their name. Bah! Okay. Zepcast! Have a so happy new year, folks. Oh my gosh. This is such a long time. Happy new year! Okay, what are we at here? Hold on. Okay, three secret photos. Oh, geez. One art thing. Two songs. One movie. Okay, that's it. So we have like, ooh. Let's bah, bah. All right. It seems that the actual meaning of the O in blood type is zero for no reaction. Wait, does that mean that A and B have meanings? shaped like A's and B's, aren't they? Maybe. I don't know. They might not be. Okay! Is blood important in Japanese media? Why wouldn't it be? Blood is important in your existence. Ooh, a long stream. It's a late stream! Stream started at two today, so not particularly longer. Just a bit later. Oh no! Give me the concept art at least, please. The concept art. The concept art. Give me the concept art. You little shits. I looked it up. In Japan, discussion of blood types is widely popular in women's magazines as a way of gauging relationship compatibility with a potential or current partner. Hmm, that's interesting. Ah. No, we're running out of money and I still don't have that concept art. We got the last fable. But like 500 coins and we only got fable? Oh no! So people like to know K-pop idols. Blood type? Why is that so weird when people knew idols' blood types? What are you doing with that? <laughs> That's so funny! It seems like they're horoscopes. Oh. That sucks though. Alright. I'm into astrology. 
I like astrology stuff. I literally have been into K-pop since middle school. I've always like, why do I need to know this? <laughs> That's interesting. Hmm. All right, more money farming, let's go. I didn't think, I don't know. I thought like, okay, maybe, you know, it's reasonable just to try to get all the concept art and forget the rest. I don't know if it's so reasonable now. I wonder how long it would take to do this. I wonder if it's even truly worth it. Probably not, but at this point I feel kind of committed. So thanks for being along for the ride while I just farm in this game for some reason. Hey, get over here! Aw, oh, crap, I killed it. Oh well. Who are you? Are you big into it? She tells me my horoscope once a week. Oh, that's cool. Doesn't want you to have that. Why? That concept art better be good. If it's one that I don't like, I'm gonna be so upset. I don't want this guy ruining my stuff. Where is that mouse? Whoa, well, why is he going so far away? That concept art, I, I don't think it's going to be, I think it's still a um, Cassie concept art because of where it is. This is next to a Cassie. But, and like for some reason we literally didn't get any Cassie until the end. Here comes the letdown. No, it's not going to be let down. We're going to be like super impressed. It's going to be like the best Cassie outfit we've ever seen. And it's gonna change my life. It's gonna be life changing. Okay. It's going to be life changing whether you like it or not. <laughs> oh no! Damn it! I get scared sometimes when I see the mouse and I just hate it. I'm. <laughs> There we go, at least we got the cookie. At least we can get a couple bucks from that. Okay, here we go, here we go. Life changing, how about some underwear changing? I'm just quoting me out. <laughs> underwear? Who wears underwear? <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, pellets, my favorite! From Spectre, world has been spoken. Not really that. We're getting the concept art. We're getting that Cassie concept art. Even if it's the last thing I do. Yeah. Give me that Cassie concept art. Just, yeah, just wear Shrek the Halls and DVDs. The most honest review. <laughs> feel kind of bad for roasting Nick so much. About, <laughs> about to be fair. Accusing me of lying is roasting me, so... Ah. Yes, Ape Escape 2! Thanks for playing your game, Rotten Poppy. Time traveling devs. No! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
you fucking kidding? Uh, I'm getting nothing. Nothing. Hundreds of monkey dollars spent. Ah. streams all the time it's okay Nick it's because he loves Shrek the halls and he can't believe that someone would ever rub shit in the best the movie according to Nick Shrek the halls oh my gosh to be fair second base started it though bye sloth have a good time at work Nothing. Nothing. Half our money spent. Literally nothing. This is this is not good. This is really not good. This is bad luck. Come on, let's get lucky today. I, didn't, I never use the pellets as a thing too. Whoa, okay, we got some pellets there. So many pellets! Please have mercy! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Pellets. Oops, all pellets! This thing is good recollection, it was Shrek collection. <laughs> Cause Nick was the baby. Yeah, I do appreciate that Nick has a shark collection. That's based. Only a base person would have shark collection. That fucking concept art, guys. Chat. Chat. We spent 500 coins and literally didn't even get like it's something that isn't even the concept art, like a photo or something. I'm gonna have to come back to the gotcha. It's true. <laughs> yeah, Nick's not here to defend himself about the baby. <laughs> With the baby coming. <laughs> now I can say whatever I want. It's okay, it wasn't actually Nick, it was Turtle Nick. I have bad news. Oh no. The gotcha won't do it. There is no more Cassia artwork. No! It's probably Jimmy then, isn't it? Let's see. There it is, art collection. So this one's Natalie, Jimmy. Uh oh. Hiroki. Wait, yeah. It's probably fucking Jimmy. It's probably Jimmy. Wait. Wait, actually, there's no way to tell because it's not all in order. Spike or Kekru? Let's see. Oh, I like to think we were lucky. We're lucky. Jimmy one, Pokemon you one, Jimmy one, Pokemon you one, Natalie one. Professor one, expression one, expression two, Pokemon two, three, four, Jimmy two, Jimmy three, Jimmy Pochi, Jimmy four, Jimmy five, Jimmy six, Jimmy Pochi, Jimmy eight, Jimmy nine, Jimmy Pochi four, Jimmy ten, Pochi five, Jimmy six, Pochi seven, Natalie two, Jimmy eleven, Hiroki, Charu, Professor. Stage settings. It's probably Spike then. Oh, I do kind of want to see the Spike concept art. Damn it! I'm 
post if you want. That's not authentic. <laughs> this is like dream villager hunting or an, an, uh, shiny hunting. Except for it's the fucking cause of the heart of the game. Except for it's, I guess, pictures that are probably available online. Still. I hadn't actually considered that I could Google the concept art for some reason until you mentioned that. I was like, this is great. Now anytime that I want to look up the Ape Escape concept art, I can just look in the game. <laughs> no, you're, you're not in the wrong at all for offering that. I just feel kind of silly. Ah, fuck! Every time! He starts flying towards me and I need to react! Alright. Look over here! No! I was robbed again. Yeah, it doesn't count unless you see in that beautiful crisp 40p. Imagine the wiki has it. No, you're okay. I don't think I, I, I don't know. Maybe I did see that and I just didn't think of it. Maybe I did think of it and I made the tr I don't know what's going on, but I want Now I'm really committed to getting it. It's not ugly Jimmy, it's a very cute picture, hopefully worth. I mean Spike is it's actually kinda cool because Spike is like one character we don't have at all. Like he doesn't even have more than one picture, so um it's kinda cool that that's the final one, especially because it's a character from the other game. It's kind of uh poetic. If we get to fucking see it ever, that is. Okay. Oh, it wasn't them. I don't know which one's the mouse. I think it's I think it's one of these ones. Okay, it's this one. Yeah! Oh. Woo! Okay. Some good cat. Kind of cool that it like I like that feature of it stacking like that. It, it, it's it's neat to me. Oh man! Oh yay, money or cookie, whatever. Over here. No. No. It's nice when I catch him next to the thing, because then I can get four stacks. <laughs> 12 hour grind, yeah. We'll only grind for a little while longer. <laughs> Come on, ah, square counters, one container, two containers, something, 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 I don't care. Ah. Yeah! It's almost better to get the the um, pellets sometimes because then at least it's quick. But at the same time, I don't know if we're actually getting closer to getting it. Like I think it all that's happened is that probably what goes on is like there's a certain percent chance that you get a thing, and now it's down to like a really low percent chance. Man. But it feels like, in theory, it should be in here. So it should just come out. 
so I keep thinking maybe the next hit will be the thing I'm looking for, but in reality, I think it's just percent based. You know, like statistics. Like it needs to pull a certain number in order to pull the drawing. Hi, Retro Reaper! How you doing? Yeah, the leave level is escape. I think that's really cute, too. Hi, Opac Jax! Ah! Come on! Why? Good night, con balls. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. Happy New Year! Installed a new cooler on my PC. Oh, that's awesome! Congrats! Fuck! Come on! Please! Ah! Give me the concept art! Escape. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Bat. Come on, bat, bat. Bap. Bap, bap. Only 10% of spiders can spin webs. Weird. 10% of the species of spiders. Which means there's a lot of species that don't spin webs. Oddly. What kind of fucking spiders are those? Oh my gosh, it's not happening. So I'm here to invest in this reduces quest for <laughs> one bit of concept art. Damn, I'm, so <laughs> I'm glad that you're also invested in this. Sorry that it's so late. So yeah, the hints reappear. If they didn't, then we would just be getting the fucking concept art. Yeah, we're getting the same hints and the same fortunes and the name, same notes over and over. And a bunch of explosive pellets. I just want... Display concept art. Uh. Come on. Ah. Uh. Uh. Come on. Before we lose our money. Come on, we can do it. Come on. Come on, we have ten left. Ten spins left. Come on. Okay, that's one spin. Two spin. Okay, we have we have unlocked two more spins. So this is one spin. You got any concept art? Yeah, we have one left. We have one left, and we have like three photos left and one movie left, and we're like just not getting. We're just not getting them. We're just getting fucking pellets. Oops, all pellets. Lawyers considering you need to grind explosive pellets for the boss in the last game. Dang. I don't remember grinding for explosive pellets. I might have though. Good night, King Dragoon. Have a good sleep. Thanks for hanging out today. The pellets do. They're just a thing to shoot. I guess. They could be good for boxes. Bosses, I mean. Normally you don't get them that often, but because I've collected so much stuff, it's one of the only things that it's pumping out. Come on, bap! Please fortune. For no apparent reason, you'll be fairly happy all day long. Why did I read that one? I don't know. Okay, here we go. The last, the last spin. <sighs> Yeah, maybe I need to get more monkeys. Maybe that's the true that's the true answer. Dang. Well, 
That would make the most sense. Yeah, maybe maybe getting more monkeys would reset the RNG. But speaking of RNG, it's RN go time. I gotta go. I gotta 